So it has been announced. We now know that Fallout 76 is going to be the next Fallout game taking you into a very different vault. One of the main differences between this game and a lot of the other Fallout games is actually when it takes place. Vault 76 is something we've heard about before through the Mothership Zeta DLC and it's actually a control vault which means that there was no weird experiments ran on it. You just were put into the vault, you lived there happily, and then were released subsequently 20 years later. Oddly enough though, the events of Fallout 76 actually take place 25 years later. Either way, I'm going to have a full video breaking down the trailer and everything like that, but one of the most interesting pieces of news that you may have missed that wasn't actually mentioned by Bethesda themselves is actually multiplayer. So these comments are actually being made by a guy named Jason Trier, and I might be pronouncing his name wrong. He's actually an editor at Kutaku. If you guys do recall, I actually talked about him yesterday because he, I guess, somewhat correctly predicted that it's not going to be a remaster, and in, in fact, it's going to be something a bit different, taking the game in a new direction. Many of us predicting that that actually did mean that it was going to take place way before any of the other games, which is true. This takes place over a hundred years before the events of Fallout 4. More or less what I'm trying to say is he's a pretty reliable source, he definitely is an industry insider, and it's plausible that someone could have leaked this information to him. He has in fact made three separate comments about Fallout 76 actually being not your traditional single player RPG, but a game with multiplayer implemented into it. His exact statement is actually that, I think it's really important to reiterate this, anyone who spends the next two weeks expecting Fallout 76 to be a new traditional single player RPG will be very disappointed. He also does say it's not going to be an MMO, it's nothing like ESO or the Elder Scrolls Online, which is more or less a Elder Scrolls MMO, but it's not going to be a strictly single player game either. So right now we largely are only going off this guy's claims, I mean we don't actually know much about the game itself at this point, but there are actually a few other tidbits of information that may back up what he's saying. There was actually an interview a while ago where Todd Howard says with pretty much all of their games they entertain the idea of putting multiplayer in it at one of the early stages. That was done for Fallout 4 and they ultimately decided that Fallout 4 and multiplayer would not be a good fit together. So of course today Fallout 4 does not have multiplayer. But at the same time, it does put that on the table. This is definitely a plausible thing that Bethesda has looked at in the past, so maybe this time around with Fallout 76, they decided, you know what, we're going to take a risk, we're going to implement multiplayer into this game. In addition, something I kind of picked on when I was doing my live stream kind of analysis of the trailer, and again, I'm going to have a full video breaking down the trailer later on, so you can subscribe if you want to see that, but throughout this Fallout 76 trailer, there's actually a lot of instances where you see sets of two things. One of the first glaring ones to me was actually the two chairs, one with a harmonica and one with a guitar. Then later you actually do see a table that has two meal placements at it. Both of these things were pretty main and center in the video. It's not like it was some obscure thing in the background, it was the center of your screen. Now again, this could just be your typical confirmation bias. I know I want to find things for multiplayer and I'm just picking out all the things that have twos in them. But at the same time, again, I feel like this guy is pretty reputable. I do somewhat believe what he's saying and am taking it at its face value. There have been numerous attempts at implementing multiplayer into Bethesda Game Studios games in the past. New Vegas had mods for it, Skyrim has a mod that's currently a work in progress for it and making some awesome progress, and it seems like there's a lot of hate surrounding that idea. I'm personally not on that boat. I think multiplayer, if done right in a Fallout game, could be an interesting new dynamic to really switch things up. Now that being said, I would want the game to play like all the other Fallout games if I could just play single player with no distractions, no interruptions, I would want that. But if there's the possibility to, uh, from time to time, also have someone jump in, do some of the quests with me, maybe build a settlement with me, I'm okay with that. Let's say it's a replacement for your typical companion system in Fallout 4. My primary concern with this being that the statements by Jason actually make it seem like that's not the case, because he does say, if you're expecting a traditional single player RPG, you will be very disappointed. A statement like that makes it seem like multiplayer is going to be something ingrained into this game that you cannot avoid. That is obviously something I don't necessarily want. Again, I'm trying to keep an open mind until we see the full reveal. We probably won't see anything about this until E3, but I know a lot of other people are going to try and jump on many of the other aspects of the trailer, and I'm going to do that too, but first and foremost, I kind of wanted to address this because I think it's one of the most interesting topics floating around right now. Is this truly going to be a different Fallout experience? Is it going to be fundamentally multiplayer? Intuitively, I want to say no, especially with the push Bethesda has been having as of late for single player games and how much praise they've been receiving as a result of that. But at the same time, statements by what seems like a reliable source definitely goes against what I'm saying. Either way, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. Again, it's going to be a fairly short one. I will have a full breakdown of the trailer as well as many other videos on Fallout 76 coming over the next few days if you guys want to subscribe. I'm not going to do a psych fun fact because I just want to get this video up as fast as possible. But with that, I hope to see you guys all next time. Later.